Hi, my name is Dr. Jill Price and I'm an experimental and applied psychologist at the Canadian Institute for Public Safety Research and Treatment, also known as CIPSERT, that's located at the University of Regina in Saskatchewan, Canada. And I recently published Client Perspectives of Case Stories in Internet Delivered Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Public Safety Personnel, Mixed Method Study, in JMIR Formative Research. As part of its many contributions, CIPSERT offers PSPNet, a free, confidential, and evidence-based internet-delivered cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as ICBT, developed with and for Canadian first responders, other public safety personnel, and their family members. I help lead the research team that evaluates this program. First responders and other public safety personnel ensure the safety and security of our citizens. This includes border services, corrections, emergency management, paramedics, fire, intelligence, policing, public safety communicators, as well as search and rescue. As a result of their jobs, these individuals are regularly exposed to traumatic events, increasing their risk for mental health challenges. First responders also experience barriers due to things like shift work and overtime. PSPNet is an effective and convenient online program that can be used proactively to increase resilience or reactively to reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress. Included in PSPNet courses are client narratives based on clinical experiences with first responders called case stories. Case stories are designed to enhance the client experience by providing mental health information, normalizing experiences, modeling targeted behaviors, persuading clients to use the targeted behaviors, and increasing engagement with the course material. My study explored ways to improve ICPT case stories tailored for first responders and other public safety personnel by interviewing PSPNet clients. Results showed that first responders and other public safety personnel engaged with the case stories in ICBT. They also made important suggestions to improve the characters, content, and delivery. I invite you to read the article to learn more. Overall, we chose to publish with JMIR formative research because of its high impact factor, appropriate research field given our work with online interventions, and that it is open access, meaning that it's accessible to a wide audience. Thank you.